Hey everyone, and welcome back to BuzzFeed Brains. Today, we're diving into a question that's both cosmic and crucial. The sun's heat and its effect on Earth's climate. We all know the feeling, the sun blazing down, turning a sunny day into a sweaty mess. But have you ever wondered, can we just turn down the heat on this giant ball of fire? Buckle up, because the answer might surprise you. The sun's heat isn't some giant switch we can control. It's powered by a mind-blowing process called nuclear fusion. Imagine a constant explosion happening right in the sun's core. Hydrogen atoms are slammed together at incredible speeds, releasing tremendous energy in the form of light and heat. That's what makes the sun shine so brightly and, well, feel so darn hot. Now, here's the key point. Earth is far away from the sun, a whopping 149.6 million kilometers. This vast expanse of space isn't just empty void though, it's the reason we don't feel the sun's heat as intensely as we might think. Imagine standing close to a roaring bonfire, the heat is intense, almost unbearable. But as you step back, the warmth becomes more manageable. It's the same with the sun and earth. The sun's heat, traveling through space, gradually disperses. By the time it reaches us, it's spread out, much like the heat from a bonfire when you step back. We receive only a tiny fraction of the sun's total heat. This is why, despite our star's immense power, Earth isn't a scorched wasteland. By the time the sun's energy reaches us, it's spread out and weakened, which is why Earth isn't a scorched wasteland. So, if the sun's heat isn't the direct culprit for rising temperatures, what is? Enter the greenhouse effect. This natural phenomenon plays a pivotal role in maintaining Earth's climate. It's all about balance, you see. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor form a kind of thermal blanket around our planet. Here's how it works. Sunlight, composed of various types of energy including visible light, ultraviolet, and infrared radiations, streams down to Earth. The planet absorbs this energy, heating up and then radiating heat back into space. But wait! Not all of this heat escapes. Some of it is absorbed by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. This trapped heat then gets re-emitted in all directions, warming the surface of the Earth and the lower atmosphere. These gases, like carbon dioxide, act like a blanket around Earth, trapping some of the heat radiating back out. This natural greenhouse effect is what keeps our planet habitable, making it warm enough to support life as we know it. Unfortunately, human activities are increasing the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The primary contributor to this surge the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas. We use these energy sources to power our cars, heat our homes, and run our industries. Each time we burn these fuels, we release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, thickening the layer of greenhouse gases that envelop our planet. The consequence of this action is akin to adding an extra blanket on a warm night. The additional layer traps more heat, causing Earth's average temperature to rise. This process, known as global warming, is the major driver of the climate change we're experiencing today. As more greenhouse gases accumulate, the blanket effect intensifies. We trap more of the sun's heat, causing temperatures to climb higher. This thickens the blanket effect, trapping more heat and causing a significant rise in global temperatures. But wait, there's still hope. We can't control the sun, but we can influence Earth's climate. Here's how. The first step is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This might sound like a daunting task, but it's actually something we can all contribute to. By transitioning away from fossil fuels and embracing cleaner energy sources like solar, wind and geothermal power, we can significantly decrease the amount of carbon dioxide we're adding to the atmosphere. Another crucial strategy is promoting sustainable practices. This includes energy-efficient technologies reducing deforestation, and adopting sustainable farming methods. Just imagine, if we all made a conscious effort to minimize our carbon footprints, the collective impact could be monumental. And remember, every small action counts. Whether it's swapping your car for a bike, planting a tree, or even just turning off lights when you leave a room, it all adds up. By embracing cleaner energy sources and sustainable practices, we can contribute to a cooler future. Even with reduced emissions, some climate change is inevitable, so we also need to adapt. 
This isn't about surrendering to a hotter planet, but about preparing for the changes that are already in motion. As the sun continues to pour its heat onto our world, we need to develop strategies to cope with its impacts. Imagine coastal cities with state-of-the-art flood defenses, designed to withstand rising sea levels. Think of farmers cultivating drought-resistant crops, ensuring food security even in the face of shifting weather patterns. Picture communities built with heat-resistant materials, providing shelter from extreme temperatures. Adapting to change isn't a choice, but a necessity. It's about being resilient, innovative and forward-thinking. It's about ensuring that we, and future generations, can thrive on this beautiful planet we call home, no matter what the sun throws our way. Yes, the sun's out, and we can't dim the thermostat, but with smart strategies and sustainable practices, we can keep our planet cool.